We are following some local breaking news this morning. After a large portion of Creighton's campus was hit by a blackout all throughout yesterday, this morning the power has thankfully been restored. That's right, Jenna James is live this morning with the very latest. Jenna, good morning. Good morning, Dave and Cerise. The lights are back on here at Creighton, despite the steam and the chaos that you still see going on behind me. Now, that means all classes and operations are back on as usual. So students, no matter where you had class today, you still have to go to that midterm. Now, if you're about one of the 700 or so students who did have to find elsewhere to live this past uh, day or so because of that outage, you can now begin to start to check when to go back to the residence halls. They're not open just yet. Contact your residence hall and check with Creighton continuing throughout the morning. They'll let you know when you can get back in. Now, yesterday we talked with students right after the outage happened. Some said it made class very stressful. Others say it's a day off. So we were in class and just all the power went out. And then we got the alert that said all the power went out. I went to my lab and then we couldn't finish our lab. And then we class was dismissed and now I'm headed home for the day. Now back here at 24th and Burt, steam is still rising from the street. We know that it was two failed circuits that caused this outage, but Dave Streets, as far as what caused those two circuits to fail, that is still under investigation, though they think it may have had something to do with this steam. They have not been able to confirm that, though. All right, Jenna James reporting for us live this morning at the uh, Creighton University. Jenna, thank you.